the Toyota Hilux has become the default pickup for those looking for a tough, practical and dependable workhorse. So it shouldn't be much of a shock to learn that in every major market around the world, except for North America, the Hilux is the best selling pickup and has been for ages. Now there's a new one and we've driven it in the UK. But before we get into this express review, make sure you subscribe to the Auto Express YouTube channel so that you can keep up to speed on all the latest car news and first drives. Click on the bell icon to receive notifications as soon as our videos go live. The 2021 Hilux is an updated version of the model that's been on sale since 2016, but it comes with some pretty far reaching changes that cover not just the design, but the oily bits too. Now let's start with the styling. The significant changes come at the front, where there's a new grille treatment which makes the Hilux look chunkier and more menacing than ever before. Top spec Invincible and Invincible X models get contrasting wheel arch mouldings, which at the front edge blend into the fog light surrounds, plus silver trim at the lower edge of the bumper, LED headlights and 18 inch alloys. Basic models go an inch smaller on the wheel size. With the Sanyong Musso looking a little bit plain and the Mitsubishi L200 perhaps a bit too much like Predator, then we reckon this new Hilux sits in a very happy middle ground. Moving on to the interior, and the key change inside the cab is an improved infotainment system. Even if we're being kind, Toyota systems aren't exactly known for being the most slick in the business, so the integration of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto make things much more bearable than before. The system itself gets a faster processor so it responds quicker than ever, while top spec versions get integrated satellite navigation and a cracking JBL sound system. The interior design itself hasn't changed much. Even though the availability of heated leather seats doesn't quite lift it to the poshness of an SUV, it feels tough enough to withstand the kicking it'll soon face once it gets put to work. And even though it's claimed to have the best on-road manners of any Hilux, Toyota reckons that there's been no harm done to the way it goes off-road either. And it has a point, because it's better than ever. There's the usual off-road tech like hill descent control, which teams up with a retuned stability control system, a lower engine idle, a smoother throttle response and a new tyre angle monitor. Toyota says that the 310mm of ground clearance is class leading and it allows the Hilux to wade through up to 700mm of water. In other words, it's as handy across, over or just straight through tricky terrain as any of the competition. For quite a while there's been one area that has kept the Hilux back from some rivals and that's power. Compared to the Ford Ranger and the Mitsubishi L200, both of which come with a range of engine choices, the Toyota's single option of a 2.4 diesel with 148 brake horsepower and 400 Nm of torque hasn't quite cut it when it comes to the ultimate pulling power. But that's all changed with the introduction of a 2.8 litre unit. It's available with the Invincible trim in both single or double cab body styles and power jumps to 201 brake horsepower. Peak torque depends on which gearbox you go for. The 6-speed manual transmission is capped at 420 Nm, while the 6-speed auto delivers a hefty 500 Nm. While 0-60 times aren't the most vital thing in a pickup, it really illustrates the difference a new engine has made. It is over 2 seconds quicker over that benchmark than the old 2.4, and you can really feel it on the move. While that 2.8 can still get a bit gruff under hard acceleration, the extra torque means that you don't need to work it anywhere near as hard as the 2.4, so for the most part it's much quieter. Road and wind noise are on a par with some SUVs now too, so it's a really refined place to be. If you don't need that extra shove, then it's still possible to plump for the old, dependable 2.4. Tweaks have been made though, and these reduce the engine's weight and make it more fuel efficient, and all but the entry level model now also gets stop-start technology. This should help drivers save a bit of fuel money by cutting the engine out at traffic lights and other short weights. While all versions come with four-wheel drive, an automatic limited slip differential system defaults to two-wheel drive out on the road, which again helps the Hilux to run a little more efficiently. Officially, the 2.8 will manage 29.7 mpg, which on paper is pretty much a match for the equivalent Ford Ranger. When you do manage to find some smoother tarmac, Toyota has also addressed some stick it had received about the ride comfort by tuning the suspension to be a little more forgiving, especially when there's no load weighing down the back axle. It is an improvement, but it's still a little fidget from time to time, which means although it's smoother than an L200, it's not quite as comfy as the Ford Ranger. The steering has been retuned too, and this has both improved the precision on-road, while a lighter setting allows it to work better off-road too. 
As before, all Hilux models can hold a ton in the load bed and tow a 3.5 ton brake trailer. A 5 year and 100,000 mile warranty means that you're covered if it ever goes wrong, which is unlikely because, well, you know, it's a Hilux. The Hilux range kicks off with a 2.4 litre single cab active model, which before VAT cost £22,466. At the top of the range sits the 2.8 litre Invincible X double cab, which comes to 33783. So, what's our verdict on the latest Toyota Hilux then? Well, as ever, it's as strong and as dependable as they come, only now it's got just that little bit more refined. Chuck in the option of that extra power and Hilux should be right at the top of any pickup buyer's shortlist. But what do you think about the new Hilux? Would you take one over a Ford Ranger or a Mitsubishi L200? Leave your comments below and click on the video windows for more content like this.